see how I try out this inspired technique and then how I get creative with it. Hi everyone. So this was inspired by Jen Neal, Res Inspired on YouTube. And she was inspired by Chameleon Jones Art on Instagram. So let's see how this all comes together. So I'm just going to use some of the box board that I have to do trials and, and whatnot on. Uh, but the thing I did different with this is it's normally a gray grayish color. So due to this technique and the way it's done, I have sprayed it with the British Paints Spray Easy Paint and Prime in a white flat spray. So I gave it two, two coats of that with light sanding in between just to create um, if for any reason it does show through, it'll be white instead of a boring grey. So I've spread my white all over the board and then just squiggled some paints. You can see that I still have them laying down because they're very low and I will eventually run out of them <laughs> so I can mix up some fresh paint. But yep, so there we go. This is the wet paper towel. So just swiping that across. And I got a bit stuck at the end there, but that's okay. And that one. And I'll just go back and touch up that little bit on the side. Just to blend it in like the others. So I just wanted to create a swiped colourful background. So I had ultramarine deep, emerald green, um, the lime, which is the emerald green and cadmium yellow hue together, then cadmium yellow hue, and then some of the, and they were all creative plates, but then I used some gold, and the gold was Samco. So just grabbing the silicon here, so you can see this is a little bit why I thought I might need to spray the background um, of the cardboard, the box board. So with just a little line of silicon on the top of that container, I'm dipping in the hair pick and just tapping it on the other side of the container first. So it's like a, a dip it in the line of oil and then tap it on the other side just to take off that initial first excessive amount perhaps. So just do that and then dip it into the paint. So you're tapping it into the paint and it's like, it was like, it's invisible, kind of like invisible, in, like blah. Oh, sorry, a bit excited there. Um, uh, when you're dotting, so instead of dotting with color in this, you're dotting with silicon and it's pushing away the color and exposing colors underneath rather than adding color on top. Ah, who'd have thunk? Very good. <laughs> okay, sorry, totally sidetracked and not explaining this. So still continuing with dipping the pick into the silicon just there and then dipping it into the paints. So I've got that zigzag line. That was just for a bit of fun. Just thought, eh, I'll try it, see how I go. But then I realized what I need, what I should have done first was those straight lines down, which appear at the top of the screen and very consistently spaced apart. And so when the silicon oil spreads, they kind of just bloom into each other. Well, fingers crossed. So that's how they look. Isn't that amazing? Like those colors are coming through. 
that looks so trippy. I actually quite like it. And I did forget to uh, space, not space, have my paints a little bit, little bit more fluid than normal. See, I just use my normal paints. I forgot to actually give it just a little bit of extra squirt of water just to make it a little bit more fluid and as the silicon blooms out it's easier to move in the paint so this is where i get creative so i've had a play um i've done the lines i think that i think it looks awesome and i can't wait to try it again with more vibrant colors so an idea came to mind and I thought, you know, why not just try some, like I mentioned before, dotting, but it's in reverse. So just following this up and it's somewhat difficult to follow the lines when the cell doesn't bloom immediately. That's, lots, that's why it's like invisible. Invisible reverse dotting, <laughs> something like that. So there we go. I had a bit of fun with that. Thought, what else can I create here? Having a look around, what else is possible? So just finding different random sections that have varying colours in them. Adding some little dots, cells, chameleon cells. <laughs> so, and then just seeing, right, what does this want to be? What, what do I want to create here? Um, and they just have a play. So that's where I'm at now. So thanks so much for being here, everybody. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell. And when you click on it, it'll give you options for your notifications. So that always helps when you want to stay in touch with a channel. All right. So just sweeping it out gently with a nice fine line coming out from the center. This was so fun, completely inspired. And then what came to mind was my own twist on it and what I could do with that. So I just had a ball. So if you're enjoying this, please give me a thumbs up. That always helps. Leave me a comment and let me know and share it please share it i am aiming for 25k subscribers because you're all fantastic um by the end of the month so it's getting closer and closer every day like any other month <laughs> um but this that is actually significant for me and i'll announce that coming up sooner but i really need your help uh, my camera is going to cut out here in a second, so we'll skip to some photos following this. Um, so I really need your help with subscribers by the end of the month. That would be amazing. Thank you. So here are some photos. They look amazing. You've got the line that passes through the chameleon dots. And then as it gets to the end, it kind of has like that feather look which is stunning. Some of them have such varying shades of color in them. And this, oh, I'm so thrilled with this. I am going to have so much fun. So between Jen Neal, Res Inspired, and Chameleon Jones Art on Instagram, thank you so much. This is what I've done, being fabulously inspired by you. So be kind. Be creative and be...